My name is Yi Tok Ka. You can call me Baba D Lee. When it comes to sex, it is common knowledge that human males are promiscuous, while human females are choosy. Feminists believe that this difference arises because patriarchal culture instills the idea that men are conquerors and women are shy. On the other hand, evolutionary psychologists believe that males and females evolved quite differently in this respect. Some advocates of evolutionary psychology argue that this difference evolved because it costs much more to produce an egg than a sperm. When males have sex, they make much less physiological investment than females. But the genetic benefits gained from pregnancy are similar for males and females, so males can reap more benefits in terms of return on investment. Therefore, males have evolved to be more active in sex. However, when a male has sex, it doesn't just release a single sperm. The physiological cost of producing the entire semen that a male releases during sex appears to be much greater than the cost of producing a single egg. But the cost a male invests in semen is extremely small compared to the cost a female invests in pregnancy and lactation. Because of this, male's minimum necessary parental investment. Is much smaller than females. This is a factor that allows males to reap much greater reproductive benefits from sex than females. If a male has sex with ten females in a month, he can impregnate up to ten of them. On the other hand, even if a female has sex with ten males in a month, she can only become pregnant on her own. For this reason, males seem to have evolved to prefer indiscriminate sex much more than females. Let's say that in a primitive society, a female had sex with an inferior male, which resulted in pregnancy. She has to wait three or four years to become pregnant with the genes of a superior male. On the other hand. Even if a male has sex with an inferior female today and makes her pregnant, he can have sex with a superior female tomorrow and make her pregnant too. When sex with an inferior partner leads to pregnancy, female pays a much greater cost in terms of opportunity cost than male. For this reason, female seems to have evolved to be more choosy about. How superior their partner is. If an unmarried female becomes pregnant through loveless sex, there is a relatively high chance that she will raise a child alone. In a primitive society, a child without a social father would have had a lower survival rate. Even if he survived to adulthood. He would have been relatively inferior and had a lower social status than if he had been supported by his social father. Therefore, if a female had loveless sex, she would likely suffer reproductive losses. Of course, if a child's survival rate is low or the child is inferior due to the absence of a social father. The child's genetic father also suffers of reproductive losses, but males invest very little in loveless sex. Therefore, in terms of return on investment, it cannot be said that males suffer losses. Since females with children are less popular in the marriage market, their popularity in the marriage market may plummet. Due to pregnancy and childbirth resulting from loveless sex, for this reason, it seems that females have evolved to dislike indiscriminate sex more than males. Let's compare the cases 
where a married male and a married female cheat. People generally hate it when their spouse cheats. However, there is an evolutionary reason why males dislike their spouse's sexual infidelity much more than females do. If a male's wife has sex with an outsider, he may lose his wife's womb to another male. Moreover, there is a risk of making enormous sacrifices thinking that the child born in that way is its own. On the other hand, no matter how much a female's husband treats, the child born in a womb is inevitably a genetic child. For this reason, if an affair is discovered by a spouse, females are likely to suffer greater damage from their spouse than males. This is a factor that may cause married females to evolve to be more reluctant to cheat than married males. Thank you.